Guys, in this particular video, me and Rob, we are basically going to discuss how to start and grow your credit repair business. Okay. So Rob is going to basically explain you like nine things that you actually need to start your own successful career with credit repair. So Rob, you can go ahead, man. Yeah. Let, let, let's dive right, let's dive right into it, man. Let's not yes, waste sir. no time because let's these go. people are trying to build a business. They're yep. trying to make money. And uh -huh. they're trying to get to a hundred thousand dollars in ninety days. Yes, so sir. Hey, let's get right into it. So nine things that mm -hmm. you're going to need to start a successful credit repair business. Mm -hmm. Now keep in mind, this is not a complete list, but again, this is a great place to start. And mm -hmm. we'll make another video um, that goes a little bit more in depth um, to give you some more content on what else you need. So we'll yep. start with this one. So you want to register your business, right? Yep. You think of your business name, you want to make sure that it's available. Figure out which business legal structure best fits your company to register your business is on average of about $300 or less, depending on your state. It could yep. be 150 bucks. So if you live in the state of Chicago or Texas, just go to your, uh, your state website and find out what the cost is, but mm -hmm. it is very inexpensive. Um, just mm -hmm. to, uh, we're going to dive into this a little bit more, but also when you think of your business name, uh, just my opinion, think of something that's going to be easy to remember, right? Mm -hmm. You Something that uh, when you post it, think about your, your business name being on a billboard. What does that look like? Yeah. What does your business name look like on a t-shirt or on a hat? Is it something that's marketable, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. just think about that because you want to right now you're you're about to start a business but yeah. you want to think big don't think small yep. so think about your business name and how you're going to market it uh and then make sure that it's it's available so make sure you do that get your business registered um same thing when you think of your business name you can go to a website like godaddy for example mm -hmm. and look and see if your business name is also available in a domain like creditrepair.com or Rob's Credit Repair, whatever, whatever mm -hmm. it is that you want to name it, make sure that the domain is also available as well. Now, you're also going to need a website or a landing page. And honestly, the reason why you want to have a website or a landing page, because your, your prospects, the leads that come in, they're going to want to know, do you have a website or a landing page where they can go to, uh, to find out more information? So it's yeah. going to help you know, it's going to show credibility with your business that you have structure. It's going to help with generating leads, not just the, not just the paid ads that Harshal and his team are running because, hey, you're going to have a consistent lead flow. And that's what you need in order to close more deals. You need yeah. volume. But you also want to have your own website or landing page, mm. which you can generate leads organically on mm. top of the paid leads that are coming in from Facebook and Instagram. Yep. Another thing is, um, again, it, it, having a landing page or a, or a website is going to be able to give the person that's interested in your services an mm. opportunity to find out a little bit more about your company. Now, here's a tip. Make sure you write this down or remember it, preferably write it down so you don't forget it. But uh, when you're creating the website, you want to give them enough information. You don't mm. want to give them all the information. Mm. Why don't you want to give them all the information? Why? Because mm -hmm. think about it. It's just like fishing. You want to give them enough information to throw in that, you know, to throw in the reel and you hook them. And then once you hook them, now they're going to want your free consultation. So they need to, they need to talk to you, right? Yep. So having that human interaction is going to help you close that deal instead of trying to close these deals via text message or via email or just having them sign up directly on your website. Because even if you have that kind of format, they're still going to want to talk to someone and they're still going to have questions. So give them enough information so they want to contact you. Um, typically, domain names, some of them can be very expensive, but typically a simple domain name can cost you anywhere from $20 to maybe $100. So yep. it depends on what you're calling your company, what the name is. Yeah, guys. Also, one last tip. 
maybe try to have credit or credit repair word in that particular domain name if possible because in that way like you know people can relate to it so for an example i think for rob it's quick tax and credit you know so try to have credit or credit repair word whenever you're trying to choose any kind of domain okay yep yeah good good point so include the word credit in there um yeah. you don't and also you know you can include include the word credit you can you know just play with it and just make sure number 1 that it's something that you are happy with at mm -hmm. the end of the day your business name do not overthink it because mm -hmm. you know what Sometimes the business name doesn't really matter. I got clients who don't even know the name of my company, yeah. but you know what? They got great results and you yeah. know who they, you know who they remember. They remember the person they talked to either mm. myself or one of my employees. So yeah. don't get so caught up on the small details because yeah. at the end of the day, the name of your company is not going to make you money. So <laughs> The name of the, the name of your company is like a cherry on top, right? Yeah. So don't over, don't overthink it. Yep. So you want to get, once you get your business registered, get your EIN, you want to get a business bank account. Mm. You cannot be, you know, running your business because that's mm. what it is. It's not a hobby. It's a business. Mm. You have to run your business accordingly because if not, you'll get in trouble with the IRS. That's the problem you definitely don't want. Um, and you're also going to need uh, a business bank account because that's going to help you get funding if you mm. want to get funding. And then also you're going to need a business bank account, not a personal account. You're going to need a business bank account to get uh, a merchant processing. And mm. we'll get into this, but you're going to need a high risk merchant. I'll explain that later. So this also helps with keeping your personal information and your business finances separate. So again, that's going to avoid issues with the IRS. Bro, one last thing. If you have any yeah. recommendation with merchant processing or if you know anything, just let mm -hmm. us know. We can maybe, you know, try to add those like contact info or like, you know, their websites, maybe in yeah. the like description. But... Yeah, I, I'll go, you know what? I'll go ahead and do that. And then we're, yeah. we're actually about to touch on that here next. So yep. a high risk merchant, the reason why you need a high risk merchant and mm -hmm. the reason why it's called a high risk merchant is because in our industry, mm -hmm. let's just make it, let's just keep it very, very simple. There's good companies and there's bad companies, right? Yeah. So you got those people out there that are taking on clients and saying, hey, we could fix your credit in 30 days. And then yeah. the, the problem is the client realizes that their credit is not fixed in 30 days. Mm -hmm. They feel like it's a scam. That person calls their bank and does a chargeback and gets their money back. So mm -hmm. that's why, that's a one reason why the credit repair industry is considered to be a high risk. There's a lot of chargebacks. Now, mm. I don't get a lot of chargebacks. Why don't I? My chargeback ratio is less than 1%. You know why? Because I do clean business. Yeah. I give clients realistic expectations. I always under promise and over deliver. Mm. So instead of telling someone, hey, you know, you're going to get results in 30 days, be real with them. They may see results in 30 days, but that doesn't mean their credit is going to be fixed. Mm. I would rather tell someone, hey, your credit is going to be fixed in six, seven months, and then we really get it done in three. That's going to make them happy. But if you tell them the opposite, that's when a client feels like they get scammed and they call their bank and they mm. reverse those charges. So, so you want to avoid that. Um, and again, that's probably the biggest reason why you, know, that you need a high risk. So if you're using Square, PayPal, Stripe, or any kind of those companies, uh, that's again, that's out of the question. You have to look at a high risk merchant. So there's a company that we recommend is called Payment Cloud. Mm. Don't get confused with Credit Repair Cloud. That's not what I'm yeah. talking about. It's called Payment Cloud. It's a high risk merchant. Um, there's a if you listen, if you just go to Google and yeah. you type in high risk merchant for credit repair. You're going to see a long list of different companies. Mm. Uh, again, the company we recommend is uh, Payment Cloud. They're a broker and they work with multiple lenders and banks and they'll uh, they'll help you get the right merchant. Yep. And just to, to kind of end this segment right here real, is very important. If you are using PayPal yep. or Square or Stripe or Cash App, 
And somebody, I guarantee you, somebody watching this right now, this has happened to them. They will shut down your merchant. Yeah. They will hold your money. So the money yeah. that you process, you're not even going to get paid. They'll probably hold your money for three to six months. And you know what? That client paid you. So even though you didn't get paid, mm. you still got to fix their credit. So now Damn. you can end up in real big trouble if yeah. you don't honor what you told the client that you were going to do. So yeah. avoid, please. If you learn anything out of this video, just know that get a high risk merchant because that is a problem. <laughs> that is a nightmare that you do not want. So please get yourself a high risk merchant. When you take shortcuts, it doesn't end up in your favor, I promise. So you're also going to need a credit repair software, whether that's credit repair cloud, whether that's dispute B, uh, what's another one? Um, client dispute manager. Yeah. I mean, this is just the ones I know off the top of my head. There's, there's a lot right now. There's so many different softwares. Um, personally, we use credit repair cloud, but I've been doing this since 2010. Mm. It's 2023. So 13 years. And I've actually been doing longer than that. That's just, we opened up our business in 2010. So ever since we started, we've used a couple different softwares, but Credit Repair Cloud is who we use at the moment. We've been using them probably for the past four or five years. I don't have any problem with them. I'm not saying that they're the best. What I'm saying is it works for me. So what works for me may not work for you as far as like your preference on software. So if you, if you prefer another software, hey, that's cool. As, a, as long as it works for you and as long as your clients are getting results, mm. that's all that matters, right? Yeah, So. True. And software in the beginning, in most cases, is very inexpensive. Most companies across the board are going to be anywhere from, I've seen software as low as $50, actually. So yeah. you can find software anywhere from $50 to an average of uh, maybe 200 bucks. Mm -hmm. So shop around, you know, and, and see what software makes sense for you guys. But again, that's needed. Yep. So Lead generation. So having a consistent lead flow is vital to your company's success. I could stop right there. I'm, I'm just, that's it. But as long as you're closing deals, a lot of people, and let me repeat myself, having a consistent lead flow is vital to your company's success as long as you're closing deals. A lot of people think that the answer to their problem in growing their business is more leads. But let's say that you think that right now and you hire Harshal, or maybe you are using Harshal right now and you yeah. got a bunch of leads, but you're closing maybe 20%. Matter of fact, let's give you the benefit of the doubt. Let's say you're closing 50% of your leads. You got to understand that's still not good. You got a whole nother 50% that you're losing that you're giving away to your competition. That's why true. are you not closing the other 50%? You know why? Because you need to be a better closer. Yep. Our clients are closing 90% of the leads that they talk to. Yep. If you could close 90% of your leads that you're talking to right now, what would that do for your business? Like, ask yourself that. Like, seriously, what, what would that do for your business? If you're making, let's say, five grand, 10 grand a month right now, if you close the other 40% that you're leaving on the table, and for a lot of you, it's more than 40%. Yep. How much more money would you, how much more money would you make? Or in reverse, ask yourself, how much more, how much money are you losing right now? That's, that's the real question, right? Yeah. So having more leads is great, but closing, you should actually increase your, whatever your lead count is right now, work on becoming a better salesperson mm. and closing more deals with the leads that you have now. Yeah. Once you increase your closing ratio, then you have the confidence mm. and say, you know what? Now put me in the put me in the game, coach. Increase my leads because now I'm closing at a higher percent. And yeah. now I'm not scared because I know that I'm gonna close these deals instead of letting them go. Yep. So, but lead generation is super important, guys. It is a major key to your success. So it goes hand in hand. It's your lead generation. It's your own individual marketing. Because yep. one thing I'm going to tell you, Harshal and his team are amazing. They're going to drive in the leads. But when they drive in the leads and that person clicks on your ads 
And when they, cause it's going to give them access to your Instagram. Yep. So when that, so when that person, that lead goes to your Instagram and they see that you have five posts or mm. it doesn't really have much about credit or it doesn't have videos of you uh, explaining your knowledge about credit. It's not very in informative. Then that means that your Instagram and your Facebook are not complementing the ads that Harshu is pushing. So you're, it, that's going to, that's going to have a pro you're going to have a slower conversion rate because your Instagram and Facebook is not yeah. complementing the ads. Very, yeah. very important guys work on your marketing. If you're like, Hey Rob, Hey Harshu, I don't really know how to market, man. I'm not good at doing reels. I'm not good at doing videos. Hey, I got you. That's what we help you with. Right? Yeah. So it's not just sales that we teach you. It's sales. It's marketing. As a matter of fact, just to let you know, in our in our sales training and marketing training that we give you, we give you a calendar that you can download to your computer or to your phone and you can click on. Like today is what? The 30th of March. So I would click on the calendar on 30th of March, download that. And then that calendar would tell me exactly what to post for that day. Yep. So now there is no excuse for you to say, well, I don't know what to post. Yeah. We give you all the hooks. We give you the call to actions. We tell you how to do the videos. There's no excuse. We give you all the tools that you need to be successful. Yep. Just having Harshall is not enough. You yep. got to have the marketing on top of that. So we help you yep. with that. Also, um, one last thing I'd yeah. like to add, bro. Uh, so many people I've seen in the comments complain that, you know, sometimes like lead sucks, X, Y, Z. Guys, lead doesn't suck. It basically exposes you how good you are at sales. Okay. So it's very easier for you to close Preach. referral, referral Preach, word Arshan. of mouth. <laughs> referral word of mouth. Okay, yeah. so if you want to get better at sales, you know, so it basically exposes you. Like whenever you try to run any kind of ads to a cold audience, it literally exposes you how you are good with the sales. I, I feel like, yeah. you know, Rob knows this better for sure because he's been working with so many of his mentees that he literally knows that. <laughs> no, that that's a huge nugget, man. You know, and, and to kind of piggyback off of that. Yeah. I have a lot of people that are passionate. Like they mm -hmm. love helping people, right? Matter of fact, I talked to a lady yesterday who joined our coaching program and she, what she did before credit repair, she yeah. was a school teacher, a first grade and a kindergarten teacher. So naturally she has a passion for uh, helping people. She's also very patient because you imagine mm -hmm. you got to deal with kindergartners and first grades. Yeah. So, uh, so she has the fundamentals, but she admitted, she's like, you know what? I'm great at disputing. Like I can fix someone's credit, but, and I'm also very passionate about it. Like I genuinely want to help people because I know what I do mm. is going to change their life. But just because you're passionate and just because you know how to dispute, you could be the best disputer in all of mm. credit repair land. But if you don't know how to sell it, if you don't know how to be a good representative and, uh, and articulate that into words, you can't just say, Hey, well, you got to believe me, Mr. Client. I'm the best credit repair person there is. That doesn't they don't work. Give a shit. That does, yeah, they don't, you know, every other credit repair person is saying that. You yeah. know what another, you know what every other credit repair person is saying as well is, hey, I'm going to fix your credit, John, and you're going to be able to buy your dream house. That's mm -hmm. not building value. That's not selling. That's what everybody else is, is saying. Yeah. So what is really going to separate you you know, from the rest of the world, because there's a million other people selling credit repair. True. That's what we teach you. We teach you how to build value. We also teach you how to spend more time with mm -hmm. the right people instead of wasting your time 30, 45 minutes on the phone with someone to then say, man, you know, the client says, well, I got to speak to my wife or I can't afford it or whatever it is. Now you're frustrated and you're taking that frustration to the next call and yep. now you're wasting leads. And that's why your percentage is down. It's a big problem that it's that that's a very common problem that a lot of people are having. And that's that's exactly what we're talking about is in the sales training is more leads the answer to scaling your business. Nope. Yep. nope. Sales is the key to scaling your business. Yep. Again, you can have all the leads, 
But if you're only closing 30 to 50%, you're wasting leads and a ton of money. So mm -hmm. we help our clients literally hit $100,000 in 90, 90 days. days. Guys, this is the kind of business. There's a lot of good businesses that you can start, but this is a great business where you're helping people. You can be passionate about it. You're literally changing people's lives mm -hmm. and you can make a lot of money doing this. But if you're right now, if I'm talking to you and you've been in the business for six months, for, excuse me, for a year, for mm. two, three years, I got people that I talk to, they tell me, man, Rob, I've been in the business for seven years and I've never hit $100,000 in a year, in a year. It, it, You know what? It seems impossible to the person who's never done it. But yeah. once you do it, you're like, holy crap. I could really make $100,000 in 90 days. I got, matter of fact, we were just talking about, me and Harshal, off yeah. camera, we were talking about one of my mentees. She was only doing $2,000 a month. That's one. it. That's all she was yeah. making. In the first 30 days, we gave her the pitch. We gave her the sales training, the marketing training, the whole, the whole shebang. Within 30 days, she made $10,000. That's what's up. $10,000. Now, for some of you, you're like, hey, that's easy, man. I'm already doing 20,000. Okay, cool. But why aren't you doing more? That's so you got to understand, we don't just help people that are struggling. We also help people that are making $100,000. But how do you scale it to 500,000? How do you scale it to, you know, a, a, million. a million? Yeah. How do you hit that? How do you hit that six and seven figures? Because if you're not hitting six figures, that's what I'm going to focus on. Yep. If you're already hitting six figures as a team collectively, we're going to help you hit the seven figures. Yeah. So regardless of where you're at in your business, you could always be doing more, right? Guys, That's always my mentality. I, I also wanted to add something here. Okay. So Rob, if you guys don't know about Rob, he's been doing seven figures a year. Okay. So he's not the one, you know, that only, you know, preaches something. He is practicing what he preaches. Okay. I've literally seen his dashboard today, you know, like it, it, it just blows up my mind. And even if you are interested in his program, just get on a call with him. He will literally open up, open up his dashboard and show you what kind of money he makes. Okay. So yeah. he's been in this industry for very long. You know, we've been doing this for like four or five years now. I have never, ever seen anyone like Rob when it comes to sales. So he's B star sales, just so you know. Okay. So yeah, you can go ahead, bro. <laughs> so also one more thing you just made me think about is going back to the merchant real quick. Yep. Guys, I have three merchants. Mm -hmm. You know why I have three merchants? Because when I first started the business and I'm always going to share my faults, it's important for me as a coach, as a mentor to also let you know what I did wrong. So yeah. you don't make the same mistakes. So this is also why I'm telling you, don't use Stripe, don't use PayPal. Because yep. back then I was using, I don't know what the heck it was back then, but I was using something and they shut it down. So I said to myself, you know what? That was a mistake that I learned and it would never happen again because you always want to learn from your mistakes. And now I have three merchants. Yep. Why? Because God forbid something happens to one of my merchants. Mm. If you only have one merchant and something happens to it, what happens to your business? Like you can't pay your employees. Yeah. You can't pay your business. You you can't do nothing. True. You're not collecting money from the clients who are making monthly payments or however yeah. they're charging. So if you lose your merchant, that's, that's an oh shit moment. Yeah. And you better recover from that very quickly. If not, your business can suffer and yeah. you can potentially go out of business. So have three merchants. That's my recommendation. Just in case you mm -hmm. want to have a backup plan for the backup plan. <laughs> yeah, I've literally, you know, seen some of the case studies, bro, where people were using PayPal, Square and Stripe. They never yeah. ever release it, like, you know, release their money at all. Like they got yeah. stuck, you know, and uh, that's what you're seeing. So please guys, you know, take this seriously with the merchant account and use high risk processing. Okay. Yeah. So I, I, I had people tell me, well, well, I, in my business name, it doesn't say credit so I could get away with it. No yeah, way. you're right. You you can get away with it Any until you don't get away with it yeah. because the, the banks, they're going to look up your website. They're going to mm. look up. You think you don't think they look up your Instagram and Facebook nowadays? Like, come on. 
they're yeah. going to find out. And the moment that they find out, you're going to be in big trouble. Yeah. And you think that you're winning. But I promise you, the banks are smarter than you are. I promise. I, I, imagine so, you process 20, 30 grand a month and they shut down your account. And they oh hold up your money. That's scary. Like, That's a nightmare. Yeah, bro. I'm telling you. So <laughs> social media. So again, this is what we were talking a little bit about earlier is building a solid social media presence is extremely important. So it again, it's going to complement your paid ads. That's what we mm. discussed earlier. Yeah. It helps build credibility. Mm. I can't tell you how many times somebody has called me and said, hey, man, I've been watching you for the last six months. True. And meanwhile... I'm like, hold on. This person never liked liked my post. Yeah. Never commented on it. So understand, that's one thing. That's a big thing I'm going to tell you right now. When you post, I don't care if it's an image, a reel, a story. If nobody likes it, I promise it's okay because they're still watching. Yep. And the thing with social media is you'll never really know who's paying attention. Mm. So that's why you got to be consistent with your post. Yep. Because those same people will call you and tell you, man, I want to sign up. I've been following you. I see your clients. You're getting them results. I want those kind of results. Let's sign up. And I'm like, okay, awesome. Let's do it. So by you consistently posting and building your presence, it's also, you're technically, you're selling that person through social media yeah. without even talking to them. So mm. they're coming to you with their guard down. Because they already feel like they kind of know you because they've been stalking you for the last six months. Yeah. You know? Understand posting is very, very important. Um, and the cool thing is that light bulb is going to go off. Once you do a couple of posts mm -hmm. and you get that call, you're going to be like, man, all I got to do is post. And I start getting mm -hmm. more leads on top of what Harshal's getting me. Yeah. Another thing is it dis when you post on your social media, display client results. Like I got, yep. well, I had it on my desk, but I cleaned my desk earlier. So um, <laughs> I'm always posting client results. Like, hey, yeah. you know, John Doe got 37 negative items deleted and I'll show them on the screen. That's what people want to see. There's so many scams. There's so many people making yep. empty promises. So they want to know that you're the real deal. And that's why they're going to build. That's how you build trust with them before you even talk to them. Again, you also want to display your knowledge. I wouldn't recommend posting your your uh, your prices online. Why? Because showing your prices online, they're they're just gonna they're just gonna price shop. If you pray if you pay the price game, they're always gonna be somebody lower than you, and there's always gonna be somebody higher than you. Yeah. What's the difference? The difference is in the value. Yep. So that's what I'm talking about right here. Is number four, credit knowledge. Be an educator, not a salesperson. People mm. know when they're being sold and people know when they're being educated, focus on being an educator. Mm. The other thing is again, by, you know, by posting online, you could also post your landing page or your website on your stories. That's going to help you drive organic leads. So getting your pricing, right? Again, this is a huge, this is a bigger problem than most people think because Getting the right price or pricing your services correctly is going to be also a major key to your success. Mm. Because the last thing that you want to do is underprice your services, which eventually for you, it's going to cause you to feel overworked and underpaid. Because mm. think about it. If you're charging $99 a month, number one, you're not going to be able to grow a team with that. There's just not mm. a, enough, enough money to go around. You yeah. got to pay for your software. You got to pay for there's expenses to run a business. Now, thankfully, to run a credit repair business, it's very, it's a very small cost, very, very small, even as a startup. But there's still cost. And if you don't know your numbers, then how do you know if you're making progress, if you're in the green or if you're in the red? You gotta, mm -hmm. you gotta know your numbers. Another thing is you gotta think about it. Lexington Law, everybody knows who's who who they are. They charge an average $100 to $150. If you do that math over a 12-month period, you're talking about well over $1,000. Yeah. So if they're charging over $1,000, the biggest credit repair company, they're like the McDonald's of credit repair. Yep. You know, they're the biggest company. So if yeah. they're charging over $1,000 a year and you're charging $99, you got to ask yourself, are you underpricing it and undervaluing your services? 
mm. or are should you be charging more right so Bro, that's very important what what do you recommend on. like when it comes to pricing what is yeah. the yeah so what do you recommend like do you have any suggestions so as a coach as a uh-huh. trainer um i always let people know that that's exactly what i am i'm a coach i'm a trainer yep. i'm not your business partner so i will tell you what works and yep. what doesn't work i will give you suggestions i will give you recommendations yep. but under our coaching and under you know when we go to help you scale this business ultimately you are the decision maker you're still the mm. boss so i do have clients we call them mentees i have mentees that want to charge $300 to start mm. and then $99 a month that's Makes fine sense. i have other mentees that charge $1500 I got other mentees that charge twenty five hundred and thirty five hundred hmm. per client. You got to understand one thing: that price is all made up. It doesn't matter what you charge the client, because yeah. as long as you present their services appropriately, you're you're operating with good morals and ethics, hmm. and you're explaining the process the right way, under promising and over delivering. Hmm. Then at the end of the conversation. Whether you tell them it's $300 and $99 a month or whether you tell them it's $1,500, it's irrelevant. As long as that person can make sense and they're able to justify Mm. why they're paying the price and why you charge what you do, Mm. then you'll make the sale. Mm. But at the end of, I'm going to tell you right now, at the end of your sales pitch, if you're hitting them with the price, whatever your price is, and that client is not signing up, It's because you didn't build up enough value Mm. for that person to make sense of why you charge what you charge. Mm. So like, just to give you, let me give you a quick example. Let's say I, first of all, I love Michael Jordan, right? I'm a big fan. Yeah. So if I go into the shoe store and I go to buy a pair of Jordans and let's say those Jordans are special edition, they're $500. I'm like, man, you know what? I could pay $500. I got the money, but I can't justify paying $500 for some shoes. Now, let's say that the salesperson walks over to me and says, hey, those shoes are signed by Michael Jordan. Mm. Mind you, pay attention. He did not increase the price. He didn't even give me a discount. Mm. But the fact that now I have a detail, a fact about that service or that product that I didn't know before, I'm able, well, what he did was build value. And I'm now as a customer, I'm able to justify why I'm about to pay $500, right? So because it's signed by Michael Jordan, it makes sense to me now. It's the same thing with your credit repair services. As long Mm. as you're building enough value at the end of your presentation, your client will be able to make sense of why you charge what you charge. Mm. And the price price is irrelevant. Mm. The last thing I'm going to tell you about prices When you are a mentee of ours and we're coaching you, if I coach you and I'm telling you, hey, maybe you should raise your prices, like I'm planting those seeds in your mind, it's okay if you still want to charge $500 and that's it, you know, or 99 or whatever you charge. At the end of the day, respectfully, I don't care what you charge. You know why? Because my goal is not to uh, overshadow that. But Mm. my goal is to make sure that if you're only making two grand a month at whatever price you're charging, my goal is to get you to 10 grand, 20 grand, 30 grand a month. So whatever your pricing is, is irrelevant. My goal is is to literally 10 X the amount of deals that you're making. So that's a big part of our coaching. And this is an ongoing conversation that I have with my clients, but I promise you that if you're not charging appropriately, whatever that means to you, you're going to realize that, man, there's not enough money to go around <laughs> to hire someone. There's yeah. not enough money to go around to increase your marketing. Mm. And guys, when you when you fix someone's credit, you're changing their life. 1% on a mortgage can save that person twenty, thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000, depending mm. on the price of the house. So think about that. Would someone pay a thousand dollars or fifteen hundred dollars if they knew that it was going to save them thirty thousand dollars on their mortgage 
You just have to, you just have to make it make sense to the client. The fact yeah. that you're not closing deals right now is because you're not articulate, articulating that in a way that the client is able to justify the price. Mm. Bro, can you go back one slide on the eighth of light? I just yeah. wanted to touch base on like two things. This yeah, one? guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the third thing is that you explained the like, you know, display client results. This is what I would recommend based on my experience. What we have found is whenever you try to add a combination of value flyer video of you, you know, could be like, you know, delivering value in terms of credit. And the last thing would be result photos. So try to have a combination of value flyer, you know, like a video of you, you know, showing something valuable. Uh, the third thing would be, you know, a result photo, just like, you know, Rob said. Okay. So th those three things, just try to have a good looking bio and yeah. uh, also like, you know, try to have like highlights and stuff. So this is a bit technical, but still, you know, if you guys want, I can also leave a one video that I have, uh, you know, made on how to set up Instagram correctly. I'll just drop that in the bottom. Also guys, very last thing I wanted to touch on, if Rob is recommending yeah. you to charge more, just try to make sure that you come up with an amazing video in terms of running ads or it could be anything because when it comes to like, you know, let's say if you are selling a price on like $900 or thousand dollars, people are not going to be converted by running a flyer ad. You know, we need to run a mm -hmm. video ad and video yeah. could be like, you know, I think 50 seconds or like 60 seconds doesn't matter, but just try to come up with an amazing video that's going to get an amazing attention. Like first impression is the last impression when yeah. it comes to running an ad. Okay. And the reason why, like, you know, everyone is successful with Rob and in terms of like, you know, closing more sales is because they put in the efforts in terms of sales, you know, creating amazing video. Just remember that you need to create amazing video. You need to be better at sales, you know, then you need to have a proper like uh merchant account. Like you need to build your, yeah social media, you need to set up like the domain, like etc. But guys, please try to focus on all those things that we have said. And I'm pretty sure like, you know, you guys would be way more successful than you are right now. And you can't like, you know, literally, if you want to bridge that gap between wherever you are right now and where you want to go, Rob and me can help you achieve that. Okay. So Rob can help you get better at sales and become B star sales. We can help you build your business in terms of getting you more leads, you know, more yeah. customers in the door, you know, of course, like, uh, you just need to get better and better with all the stuff that you do. But with our help, I feel like, you know, you would be way ahead with your businesses. Do you agree? Absolutely. Bro? Yeah, no, I agree a hundred percent, man. The, the biggest hack in yeah. business is hiring a coach, hiring a mentor, yeah, you know, I, and I'm not scared. Like, listen, I'm proud to say that I, I have a mentor right now. True. Like, so, and, and those of you watching this video and I keep this, I keep my, my workbooks. I'm always learning. Look, guys, I got, hold on. I'm going to show on. you something. So I got, I read this book three times already. The closer, this is, what's it, uh, the closer survival guide. This yeah. is one of my favorite books from Grant Cardone. True. Also, this is, hold on. This is one of my workbooks, sales execution. Yeah. This is also another one of my workbooks. This is from Grant Cardone. Yeah. In order for you to hire Grant Cardone and his team to mentor you, you have to pay 40 plus thousand dollars. Now, True. a lot of you may not be in a position to pay $40,000, but me and my wife, we are. Yeah. And you know what? Why did I hire Grant Cardone to be my, to be our mentor? Because this guy's a freaking billionaire. True. And so, you know what? If I want to be a billionaire one day, and even if I never reach the billionaire status, I'm sure enough reaching for it and I'm going to come close. Yeah. So if we want to be successful, we have to emulate, we have to do what successful people do. True. Why, why should I try to, and I learned this a long time ago. Why should I try to figure everything out on my own mm. when I can have someone help me help. get there much faster? True. Am I going to have to pay for a coach or a mentor? Absolutely. Yeah. But you know what? That 40, that 40 plus thousand dollars that we invested into our coaching we made that back within the first three months, mm. no joke. And so, I mean, it's it's important. And so, our coaching is nowhere close to forty thousand dollars, by the way. But you know, our coaching is going to help you literally 
10x, you know, whatever it is that you're doing right now. Yeah. And so this video has a lot of content, a lot of great information. Yep. We're giving you literally a checklist, a to-do list. But right now, if you're feeling like, holy crap, this is a lot, don't feel overwhelmed. Mm. Contact us and we will walk you through, give you the checklist. We'll find out where you're at. Because sometimes you might have done maybe one or two, maybe three of those steps. Yep. And you didn't know about the merchant or you didn't know about how important the social media is. So mm. we'll be able to literally give you a free consultation yep. and see what it is that you need. Because just because you own a credit repair company and I own a credit repair company as well, not all credit repair companies are made equal. Yeah, Your goals, your goals and your vision mm. may be different than mine. You know, so you may want to say, hey, man, I want to have two salespeople and I want to make $50,000 a month. I don't want anything bigger than that. That might be your goal. You may not want to have a big old company. Well, yeah. your training, your coaching, your ad spend, your leads, everything has to be molded to fit your company. Yep. This is not just a cookie cutter, one size fits all kind of kind of coaching mm. or program. So that's true. Let's make some money, man. Guys, I don't know about y'all, but I'm hype right now. I'm, I'm ready to go. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, yeah, guys, I, I just want to put this on record. Rob is our mentor, like literally mine and like, you know, my business partner's mentor, just so you guys know, okay, uh, he teaches us like all the stuff, of course, not for free. <laughs> we deliver him value. So <laughs> that's another scenario. But yeah, guys, you know, he's amazing at what he does, you know, and we have literally learned so many things. I think like YouTube channel pretty much blew up because of you. You know, so all credit, of course, like, you know, goes to you, bro. Hey, without me, there's no you. Without you, there's no me. <laughs> we're a family. We're brothers. I love you. This is what we do. We, yes, sir. We're, we're not, you know, we're not only changing each other's life, but we're changing your life as well. So, yeah. again, if you're watching this, I hope that, you know, uh, whether you be, whether you decide to join our coaching and training and marketing, hey, that's irrelevant. I just hope that right now, this is all free information that we're giving yeah. you. So you can take this and run with it. Do as you yeah. will. Um, I wish you all the success because you know what? Our table is big enough for everybody to eat. Yeah, that's, how I look at it. <laughs> that's true. Guys, if you need help with getting more leads or clients, uh, you can schedule a free strategy call with me. If you need help with the sales and you know you need coach, you need to get better at sales. Uh, you can. I'll leave the Rob's link below. You can also reach out to him. Remember, guys, before I let you go, action takers are money makers. If you don't take any kind of action, it's not going to happen. So action takers are money makers. Get massive money. action. Take massive don't, action. Yeah. Yes. <laughs>